So I got another one. I guess this would be level two. One step up from that last video. All right, here what I see is I'm still gonna start with the more complicated side, which appears to be that one. All right, fine. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna take that left hand side. Remember, if you're gonna prove an identity, you start on one side and through a chain of equalities, you show the other. So here I'm gonna start on that left hand side. And I'm gonna write it, cause I'm not lazy. Yeah, and then how are you gonna multiply that out? Just like is in algebra. Sometimes it helps to look at it as one minus x times one plus x. Here I'm just using x as a variable to get you in a more comfortable algebraic world. So now that we're in this world, huh, or out of this world, um, do you see the difference of squares? Yes. And then if you multiplied that out, you could have also first outer, inner, lasted it. Uh-huh. For you. But here you see this is one <sighs> squared minus x squared. All right, sure. Or one minus, what was my x? Cosine squared. All right, so all of this was just side work, maybe to help you see what was going on there. Perhaps you didn't want to use the side work. It's totally legitimate. You could have taken the first, oh, one, the outer, oh, plus a cosine theta, the inner, oh, minus a cosine theta, and then finally last, oh, that's a minus cosine times cosine, cosine squared theta. All right, so there you are. <gasps> Common terms, divide, yeah. So then this is one minus the cosine squared theta. Ha ha, but how am I gonna get this to there? Here's how. Sometimes you get to use some of your other identities, like this one, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta, that happens to be one. Now this isn't in my proof. This is over on the side. What I'm looking for is this piece right here, one minus cosine squared. Well, 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 if I was to subtract off a cosine squared on each side, then wouldn't I have the sine squared theta is one minus the cosine squared theta? I believe I would. All right, yeah, because the cosine, when evaluated, it's a number, and it works just like any of the other ones. You could also use your algebra of functions. But what do you have? That right side over here is this guy. So you can conclude by way of Pythagorean identity that this is the sine squared theta, which just so happens to be the right hand side. And because you were able to find a chain of equalities to lead to the right hand side from the left hand side, you know?